I'm going to put this uh, particular leather piece under a torture test after covering it with uh, duplicolor vinyl and fabric coating to prove to you or disprove whether your uh, leather seats in your car could be coated with this particular product or will it rub off, will it crack, we don't know. So here is a shoot one. Uh, we've thoroughly cleaned uh, the sample. If you thought you cleaned it already many many times, re-clean it three more times and then re-clean it again. That's the key. We didn't do any scuffing um, but probably it would help to scuff it with a, a fine scuffing pad. So anyway, we're gonna attempt to change the color of, for example, your gray seats in your car. The way to do it is you dust it on it first. Don't just load it, dust it. It's crucial. I'm uh, painting in a full sun, which is not recommended by the factory. But this is Florida. Temperature now is, oh, I'd say, temperature of this sample is about 100 degrees, maybe 95. I'm dusting it. I'm shaking the can. So it's very important not to wet it. Otherwise my previous samples cracked in some spots. As you can see it dries almost instantly. There's a guy on YouTube uh, representing Duplicolor and he's just loading those seats with the paint but I guess he's just an actor so he doesn't have any idea what to do with it reason I'm doing it I will be painting my brand new Grand Sport Corvette seats which are this color I'm gonna be changing them into red and gray, darker gray. So this is to show you if it's gonna work or not. So the instruction says do several coats, 15 minutes drying time between the coats, but perhaps it's good up north, down here in Florida, it doesn't work that way so sort of it's a thicker process than dusting it but it's not overloading it with paint I've already done a center console of my new Corvette which is over there with black Actually, maybe I'll show it to you. And uh, it turned out really well. I disassembled the whole thing. And uh, the sheen is uh, absolutely fantastic. It's not too shiny. And it looks like a real deal. So going back to the project. It is already dry to touch. Okay. You can see a little bit of the original color. And this is the, the gray that I sprayed on it. But for a heck of it, we're going to spray some 
black on it. Hold on. We don't have very many minutes, just 10 minutes for a mighty YouTube. So here comes black over this. Again, if you can see it, I'm dusting it on it. Keep going. The sample is very hot. I would say so it evaporates instantly I got some build up on it already so it starts to get a certain certain sheen to it And again, I'm reminding you, I've prepped the thing and prepped it again a dozen of times. So there's no residue of any kind, no smudges of your hands, no grease of any kind. It's just a pure finish of the leather. And bear in mind, Corvette seats are mostly vinyl, which pisses me off. It's a seventy some thousand dollar car, and the uh, the inserts, the middle inserts, are leather. Anyway. That was uh, besides the point. I still love the car. That's why I bought it. As you can see, even though we are dusting it on, sort of dusting, semi-dusting, it starts to be saturated by the product. And uh, the I don't know if you can see in the movie, but the sheen starts to be deeper. It's important to shake the can during the process. As you can see, I didn't wait 15 minutes between the coats. I'm just doing it. And uh, in a second part of the next movie, we will put this particular sample to a torture test. <laughs>